Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you be a part of my little band of misfit toys. We are this close to 100 subscribers. It is so exciting. Literally a handful of people away. Maybe by the time this video is live, we will be at 100 subscribers. But for the 100 subscriber mark, I will definitely be having a little giveaway as a thank you for sticking with me into today's video. I'm going to be doing a brand review of a new brand called Oma Beauty. So if you would like to see what the brand is all about and what the products are like, please keep watching. Before we get into this video, I have a little story to tell you. When I first uh, saw that Alma Beauty was coming out and that it was black owned and I saw the shades for the foundations and the concealers I was just like oh my god this is amazing I was super excited and I couldn't wait to get my hands on their products I managed to get one of everything from like each category in the range and um, I had a particular issue with the eyeshadow palette that I picked. The eyeshadow palette that I picked was the Poise palette. This is it right here. And the problem that I had at the time was that I thought that these two colors right here were the same color because they look really similar in the pan. And I wanted to make sure that I wasn't getting a faulty palette that potentially had uh, a duplicate shade in it. So I contacted customer service, as you would. I did order all of my stuff from Ulta. However, I contacted Oma Beauty's customer service because I knew that Ulta wasn't going to be able to do anything as far as what is going on with the actual product. They are a third-party distributor. I knew that it was best to go to the source and that's what I did. I contacted customer service, I spoke to a representative, and she basically just brushed me off. And I was like, um, okay, I, I don't like this at all. And then I was like, you know what, I want to speak to a supervisor because oftentimes just general customer service reps can be a little bit indifferent sometimes when it comes to giving information or providing resolutions to certain things so I decided to, that I wanted to speak to a manager and I did get to speak to a manager and she was a little nicer about the situation but she too brushed me off and I was left with a really bad taste in my mouth I was like I just spent hundreds of dollars on a new line that there are no reviews on on the strength of what I read about the CEO and her background and what I was able to see in pictures online. So I was really, I felt defeated after that and I decided that I wanted to give this brand a proper try. Like I was really excited for it and I didn't want to just send everything back and be like, you know what, I'm not even going to bother anymore because I actually wanted to try the products and at that point I had already tried the foundation so I wanted to give everything else a try. I decided that I would tweet them and I was like, I didn't get a response so I was like, you know what, it's probably the same people over the phone that is on the Twitter account and I remembered that when I went to their Instagram account the CEO has a personal Instagram account. So I went to her Instagram account and there was a button for email and another button and I decided to email her. And I was like, I'm probably not gonna get a response, but at least I am trying to resolve this issue. And she emailed me back and I was like, um, what? Like, this is a brand new company, she's the CEO, surely she is extraordinarily busy, and she took the time out to email me back, and she asked for my information so that she could give me a call, and she said she would give me a call in a half an hour. I sent her my information, and a half an hour later, she called me, and I told her my situation and how I felt, and she was apologetic on behalf of her customer service staff, and she also was concerned with how I was feeling and appreciative that I purchased um, all of the products from the range, from the different categories in the range. And she explained to me about the 
eyeshadow palette and the two colors that I mentioned specifically they were mother and feminist and she said they were similar and in order to have them have the integrity that she wanted they couldn't look starkly different in the pans or it wouldn't be the same type of formula so I swatched them some more and I told her that I would send her picture swatches I also sent her a little video of me applying both shadows one in each eye and she got back to me and she said that no those are how the shadows are there are there is a difference between the shadows that it's subtle however the difference is there and I understood especially when she told me that this range is for the everyday woman which makes a lot of sense because Eyeshadows can be extraordinarily intimidating to people that don't normally wear makeup and are just getting into makeup and just kind of want to do something quick and make it still look good and presentable. And yeah, so I understood that and I gave it another, a little bit of another test, if you will. And I am fine with it. I am happy. I appreciate so much that the CEO of this company, her name is Sharon Sh Tudor, and I appreciate her so much for reaching out to me and taking the time out to address my concerns, and that makes me just love the brand that much more. So now we're finally going to get into this video. This is the eyeshadow palette that I picked up. It's the Black Magic color palette and this is the poise palette there are three different palettes the this is the poise one then there is the savage and the allure these palettes retail for $44 each there are 10 shades in the palette there's 10 grams of product which is 0.35 ounces this is the box right here I absolutely love the artwork and the detailing is really great. It says Oma Beauty all around the perimeter of the box and you just slide it out like this and oops, <laughs> the palette itself has the same uh, beautiful artwork. Let's have a look at the colors. I have swatched this so my palette looks a little bit much. And those are the colors right there. It is a soft matte packaging with a magnetic closure, which I love. I really love the feel of this packaging. Um, you have to kind of be careful with, you know, getting fingerprints and stuff like that. But it went soft pretty easily, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to swatch some of these to give you an idea of what they look like. I'm really horrible. Okay, let's live swatch. So that right there is the lightest shade in the palette. And you see it's pretty close to my skin tone. That is Omo. And next, this is Ija. I hope I said that right, honestly. The mattes are really creamy, which I I'm obsessed with. Now I'm going to swatch a couple of the shimmer shades. I'm going to go in with Regal. That's Regal right. Oh wow. They're really buttery and smooth and they're subtle. They're not like boom in your face. Well a couple, I think one of them is kind of like that. And I'm going to go in with La Serene. I think that might be French. Not so sure. And that's it right there. It's kind of like a, it's a burgundy color, like a wine shade. And that's, I'm going to go in with Magical. This one is more on the gritty side. Can you see that right there? It's not quite as smooth as the others. But this is really like the in your face shade. And finally, whoa. The name, please forgive me in advance. It is Yemoja. I'm assuming that these are all from the Igbo language. I can't say for certain because I don't speak it. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. Look at that. That's like a blackened royal blue shade, if you will. Those are the four metallics in this palette. 
They are super gorgeous and I can't wait to play with them. So we are going to go in with the eyes first. I'm going to do a pretty simple, probably kind of like halo eye look and then get into the rest of the products. I have a base on for my eyeshadow. I just use a concealer that I usually use. I will leave all of the information down below in the description bar. And I set it with some powder. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's the shade Mother. It's a really pretty, kind of like dusty, I don't know, burgundy color. It's not that intense. So I am going to run this through my crease. Look at the color payoff on that already. It's really good. I don't want to do anything too intense. And so, since my eyes are deep set, of course I'm going to have to go above my creases if, if this is going to be seen. I'm going to wing it out just a little bit. Like that. And I'm going to go in with the shade Poise right there it is a chocolatey brown shade more like a dark chocolate and i'm going to go in to the inner and outer corners of my eye with this color kind of create a little bit of a halo effect and i'm just packing it into the inner corner I'm going to try to leave the middle clear because that's where I'm going to go in with the shimmery shade. And just tap it on so that it is nice and even on the lash line, on the little wrinkles here on the outside, and a little bit into the crease. Yep, just about there, and I'm going to wing this out a little bit. I'm going to wipe it off so it's not too, like, crazy on the outside. I'm going to connect it with the first color that I laid down there. I am going to go in with L La Serene. La Serene, is that correct? It's this color right here. It's similar to Mother, but kind of a metallic version of that. So I'm going to go in, I think, with my finger. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to pat it in the center here. I might try wetting it. I don't know if I should put a base on top of it, but I don't want it to be that. I don't want it to stand out that much, you know? So. This is a rare occasion that I can use my finger to do anything because my nails are usually so long that is it that it is impossible. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to finish off the other eye, put some lashes on, and I will be right back. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the foundation. The name of the foundation is Say What? It's a weightless, soft matte hydrating foundation with woolly thistle extract specifically formulated for brown skin. And in parentheses, it says melanated skin. It is 30 milliliters and one fluid ounce that is standard for foundation. This foundation comes in 51 shades. It's $39. It's broken up into six skin color groups. There is Black Pearl with six shades. It's for dark and brown skin. 12 shades in Brown Sugar, which is for brown skin. Nine shades in Brown Venus, which is rich tan skin. Nine shades in Honey Honey for olive skin. Fair Lady has nine shades, and that's for fair skin. And White Pearl has six shades, and that's for very fair skin. 
this is the bottle for the foundation right here. It's the Say What Foundation. I am in the color group Brown Sugar and my shade is Brown Sugar T1C. And for my color group, the packaging is orange. Each color group has their own packaging. You can achieve medium coverage, full coverage, and extreme coverage. And I can attest to that because I'm a full coverage to extreme coverage type of person. And yeah, I really do love this foundation. I've been using it for the past three weeks and I have absolutely no complaints. I actually started using it when it was a little cooler here in New York and I didn't need to set it. Now that it's getting warmer, I found that I do need to set it because my skin has been a little bit all over the place and now I feel like it's settling more and I'm more in tune with how it's going to react to different weather conditions. I'm going to be using a beauty blender a couple of pumps on there Ooh, that's quite a bit but I love the full to extreme coverage I never noticed that before and I love that it says extreme coverage so that's pretty dope I appreciate it for people like me so look at that blends out so seamlessly and it feels super light. I literally forget that I'm wearing foundation when I have this foundation on. And you don't have to use as much as I do. It's all within everyone's preference. I like it to be cohesive, so I'm going to take a little bit underneath my neck. Underneath my chin, sorry and blend it down my neck. Look at that color match. It is perfect, literally. I'm going to be going in with the concealer. It is also in the brown sugar. It's called Stay Woke Brightening Concealer. It's 5 mils or 0.17 ounces. It says AM or PM. Stay woke, discoloration, dark circles, late nights, early mornings. Meet your all day solution to a flawless complexion. This weightless, full coverage, satin radiance concealer goes on seamlessly to instantly conceal imperfections. This is the tube right here. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm not sure what the color is gonna be like. It looks like it's a little bit on the darker side for my liking for concealer. Actually, it's a little bit orangey as well, but we're going to try it out and see what we got here. I don't know. This might be right. It's really creamy. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend this out. If anything, and this is not bright enough for me. You could go a shade lighter in your concealer category, your, I mean, in your skin color category, if you want it to be brighter. But I could also brighten it up with powder. Actually, I really like that. I usually go for really bright under eye, but this is looking good. Look at that. That is really, really nice. I'm going to be going in with a loose translucent powder directly underneath my eyes so that I don't get any creasing. And since I'm going in with more creams, I don't want to set the entire area so that the creams don't apply well. Yeah, 
I'm going to be going in with the double take sculpt and strobe stick and that is it right there. The reason that this one has a yellow lettering is because it's in the bronze Venus skin color group and I decided to get this one because I was looking at them online and I thought that if I went in the brown sugar which is darker and that's my foundation color and my co uh, concealer color that it might be a little bit too dark for me. So it says like I said, this is step three in the step system that they seem to have. Foundation is number one, concealer is number two, and this is number three. Double take, sculpt and strobe with this power couple that is sure to make you do a double take. Shade, highlight, define, and contour like a pro. I don't usually put sticks directly onto my face. I usually put it on the back of my hands and then I apply it with a sponge of some kind to my face. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit and I'm gonna put it right here. That's a really good color. I think that is gonna be perfect. I haven't used this either, so I'm gonna grab my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna use the larger side. I'm going to kind of like squeeze it together like that. And then I'm going to go over here just below my cheekbone. Oof, this hair is in the way. And I'm going to dab it on. Oh my goodness, look how nice that is. That is pretty deep, so I'm glad that I didn't go with the one in the brown sugar color group, which is my color group for the foundation. Look at that, that is nice. I'm also gonna use this for my nose. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this brush right here by, I forget. And I'm going to take some on my brush like that. And I'm going to go down the sides of my nose. Okay, let's blend this out with the fluffy side now. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is kind of intense, so like that. I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to tap over that to kind of, yes. I'm gonna do a little bit more blending on my cheeks. Um, put my eyebrows on, because nobody wants to see that on camera, and I will be right back. Forget trying to be twins. My eyebrows didn't even wanna be anywhere near related, not even fifth cousins related. I was fighting with these for the longest time off camera, but they're at a place where I find them acceptable. So I am back. Now I'm gonna go to the other side of the Sculpt and Strobe stick, and this is it right there. It's a really pretty yellow gold color. It's nice and um, it's kind of almost oily, I would say. And I'm definitely not gonna apply this straight to my face either. I don't know how that's gonna end. Um, that's what it looks like right there. It's a really pretty color. I'm gonna go in with a uh, different beauty blender. I'm gonna take the back end of it like I did with the contour and I'm going to Dab it on. Ooh. It's nice. It's not over the top. It's on the subtle side, which is fine. I am going to go under my lower lash line with the shade Mother. Tap it off. Nice. Yes, 
I am loving that. All I have left to do is lips. I, of course, got nude colors because I felt that that was pretty safe and I wasn't sure what kind of eye look I would be going with and I knew that nude was going to cover all bases. So I got a lipstick and a lip gloss. I got a matte lipstick and a lip gloss. This comes in six shades and it goes for $40. That is a hefty price tag, but I think it's worth it. I do like it. Let's see how much product it comes with. It comes with five grams on the highlighter side or 0.17 ounces. And on the sculptor side, it comes with six grams or 0.27 ounces. And did I mention the price of the concealer? Anyways, the concealer is $25. It comes in 17 shades. Now, lastly, we're getting into the lips, as I said. In the lipstick is called the Badass Icon Matte Lipstick. Infused with wild mango butter, this pigment-rich, non-drying matte lipstick is bold and unapologetic. I've already tried this lipstick and lip gloss as well. I don't think I will be um, using both of them in this video. I'm just going to go for the lipstick and I will swatch the lip gloss. This is the lipstick right here, as you can see. The brand name is uh, engraved inside of the actual lipstick itself. It is a white tube. It has the color on the back there. I'm not sure why it's in red because it is a nude color. And um, it's really heavy. I'm sure it's weighted down here somewhere, but it feels really good and really expensive and worth the money. These lipsticks, the Black Magic, I mean the Badass Icon Matte Lipstick comes in 16 shades and they're $24. And the Boss Gloss Liquid Marble comes in 8 shades and it's $22. So I'm going to go in with this lipstick right here. I have used this. I love it. No need for a lip liner. It's so creamy. And yet... It gets you that matte look. Look at that. Oftentimes it's hard finding a really good nude when you're a deeper complexion and they really hit the mark with this one because I love it and it looks great. It's not too pink, not too beige, not too light, and not too dark. It's nice and hydrating. And lastly here I have the um, lip Boss Gloss Liquid Marble in the shade Passion. This is what the tube looks like right here. This nice pretty metallic blue. And it's a regular doe foot. This is it right here. It's not sheer, but it's not super pigmented. It's somewhere in the middle, and I find that to be perfect because you could pair it with a lipstick or you can wear it on its own. And, oh, this smells like coconut. It smells delicious. Let's see. The lipstick smells like a lipstick, but this lip gloss right here, I'm loving the scent of that. Okay, that is it. I am finished. This is the complete look. I'm going to be back in the usual. I'm going to do something with this hair. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, I am back and this is the finished look. So my thoughts so far, of course, I love, love, love the foundation. I have been wearing it for the past three weeks, so I definitely recommend it. Uh, the contour stick, it is on the pricier side of things, the contour slash highlight stick, um, but I like it. I think it's worth it, and if you are into cream products, then 
this is definitely a good one so far I'm looking at the concealer right now. The concealer is doing a good job. I really like the color, the tone. I thought that it wasn't going to be light enough, but it is just right. I think I've been going a little bit too light. And even for like natural days, I think this is going to be a great one. And if I did want to make it a little bit lighter, I can mix it with this one that I bought by accident. What is next? The lipstick is really nice. I love the packaging. It is luxe. I also love the packaging of the um, foundation with the frosted glass. Mm, this formula is super nice. It's comfortable. I would say that it's not completely matte. It does have a matte feel to it, but it's more like a satin matte. So it is really a pleasure to wear. It's not transfer proof or anything like that, but it never claimed to be. And then I think, yeah, the lip gloss. I love the lip gloss. I have already worn it on its own and it's really nice. It's comfortable. It smells amazing. Finally, the eyeshadow palette. I love the packaging on this and the branding. It is for the everyday woman and if you are intimidated by eyeshadows, this is a great palette to have. It is 10 shades for $44. And I definitely think that that is worth it. So, so far, I am pleased with this. I am very happy that I got to try out this brand and that it worked for me. And it's, or so far, it's working for me. I love that there are a lot more black-owned brands and people of color brands coming out. We had the big launch with Fenty. Now we have Oma Beauty and it looks like this is going to be very promising. And next up, I believe Juvia's Place is stepping into um, base products. They're coming out with a foundation and I can't wait for that. And I just think that it's amazing. They're run by women of color on top of that, which is an even bigger plus. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And let me know if you got anything in the comments down below from Oma Beauty. And if you plan on getting anything now that you've seen my video or you've been interested in getting anything from their line, of course you don't have to go out and get everything like I did, but you can start off with one or two things and see how you like it. I'd be interested actually to see how it is for more fair skinned people and people on the deepest end of the spectrum as well. If you could hit the subscribe button down below and join my little family, almost at 100, amazing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.